I moved to Zach. Don't ask why. I just did. So yeah. I will take a picture of all the posters that are in here. Because I don't want to rip them out. Because it's a pretty cool book. And maybe some of the pictures. And you can see them on my Hanson Only Muffin Only uh, website, uh, group page on Facebook. I might put some of them on Tumblr when I do the, uh, because I want to make a Tumblr, my Hanson Tumblr, I want to make a about page of all different Hanson covers of magazines and books and, and their merch and stuff. Just some of them, like some of my favorites that I think is cool. So if you would like to donate some pictures of that to help out, um, you can Twitter me on um, I am Alien88. You can Twitter me, and if you follow me, you can DM me the pictures if you want. But you have to follow me to do so. And make sure you give me a name that you want me to put with the photos or if you want me just a link or something like I can say I got this from this Twitter she wanted me to post this whatever you can check out my tumblr page we gotta be careful on tumblr now these days because they are taking out the porn which is awesome but they're also saying my pictures and stuff are breaking the tumblr rules and they're getting flagged like crazy but yet they're they're being looked at by a stupid robot and hopefully they fix it soon and realize that this robot is making lots of errors because i keep having to peel it by a real person and then they and then they email me and go everything's cool now so just watch out for that another thing i like doing on uh what I'm doing on Tumblr is taking pictures of everything that I've made so far. And every time I add something new, I'll take pictures and put it on my Facebook group page. So if something happens to the Tumblr, I will have a backup. And once I get that done, then I will be sure to get new content and stuff up on the Tumblr. Um, if you want links to any of my Tumblrs or Facebook group page, just ask and I'll give them to you. Um, so yeah, that's all I gotta say there. Once I get all that done, then I'll start updating. Um, I do have a Hanson, Dream Street, and Moffitt page for just them three bands, because they're similar, and I like them. If you want somebody like Aaron Carter, he's on my, uh, Bieber Justin Bieber page that I don't update much because I'm not as obsessed with Bieber as I used to be. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to get going and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Later, haters. <clears throat> this person is doing top 10 things children today don't recognize. And number 10 is phone books. I'm going to go through the same list I'm going to go through, and we're going to talk about if it's true or not, whatever. Kids know what phone books are because we still get phone books next to our doorstep, doorstep every year. I think it's every year. I know it's not every month. I don't know when we get them, but we get them. And we still get them today, and people still look at them. So, nice try. Kids still today know what a phone book is. In case you're an idiot and don't know what a phone book looks like, that's what a phone book looks like. Or if you call it something else. That's, that's, what, they're, that's what a phone book is here in the U.S. Okay. This is sort of false, sort of true. TV guides. People don't know what a TV guide magazine used to be. But they do know what tvguide.com is. They know what a TV guide is when they're looking it up on their computer. And John Travolta bald? What the hell extra? Uh, since when was John Travolta bald? Anyways, focus. 
So when you do something like this, look at my TV. That's a TV guide. Ah. Uh, okay. So this is what a TV guide magazine would look like. It just would have day, uh, day, and time when certain shows were on TV that you could look up for each week. It would say that every day this is on at this time, blah blah blah. This is what you can watch for the week, blah blah blah. And you get the TV guide each week. For people that don't know about the magazine. But they do and have heard of the word TV guide from, you know, the other two sources. A rotary phone. A rotary phone is a phone that is circled, and you have to dial the numbers in a circle each time. They're connected to the wall or your outlet, and you couldn't go. They're not wireless. You couldn't go in every other room. Yes, a lot of people don't. This is true. A lot of people don't know what a rotary phone is. Some rotary phones have buttons that you push, I think, unless it's called something else. But anyways, so that is true and it looks like that. There were also different versions. So yeah, rotary phones are the round thing and the buttons. And then there's these two. So there's two different versions. There's a picture of the, ro of the round ones. Um, that's not true. Video, you can't really see it, but it's video music, music store is the next one and I disagree because people probably have heard of Blockbuster from their fans from the adults and people know what a video store is because there's still video stores out there today and people can still rent you rent from Netflix you rent from Hulu you rent from different, you know, places you can go to do Redbox at stores, so yeah, there's still video stores out there. Number six, pagers, be aka beepers, that's true, a lot of people don't know what those are, I know what one is, my dad had one, we used it a lot, but a lot of people don't because they either never heard of it or never used it. And it wasn't that popular. And people used to do codes on pagers like they, you can do on a calculator now. They use certain numbers and it meant certain things. It was pretty cool. Let's see if they show what a beeper looks like so you know. That's what a beeper looks like if you can see it. It's kind of far away. But, but yeah. Most druggies had them for even to get drugs and stuff. So yeah. But after beepers became cell phones in your car to regular cell phones today. So yeah. No need for beepers. That's a beeper. Hold up, hold up, hold the phone. There's an actual pager that you could text on. I never knew this. When did that came about? This is what it looks like. Called a Motorola. That's a pager and that's the one that you could receive text from. What? I didn't know there was a such thing as a pager with texting. What? I just learned something. Okay, did anybody else know that? Number five. Portable audio players like Walkman and Discman. Ain't Disc and Walkman the same thing. Just, it's basically where you put your cassette tapes, aka or your CDs before they're an iPod or that. And you'd have to hear, have your phones form and play them and stuff like that. You see if they, if I could show you what one looks like.
Oh yeah, I had a Sony one. I remember losing. I remember losing my CD one that looked kind of like this when I was moving bedrooms at, in my house. So I had to get another one. So now I have two of them, and they take batteries, which sucks. So that's what a CD Walkman looks like. That's what I called them. I guess they were called the disc whatever. Let's see if they show a cassette one. Oh, this kid's got a cassette one. I don't know if you can see it from the React show, but yeah, that's what a cassette one looks like for cassette tapes. That was the thing back in the day. Um, I don't know if it's true or not if kids would know what a Walkman and a Discman is because I because there was you could still buy CDs so they probably would know what that one is but you can't still buy cassette tapes unless you go to Goodwill or thrift stores then you can so that one's a toss up I don't know video cassette recorders aka VCRs and VHS that's a toss up because if they go to thrift stores and they go to Thrift stores, Goodwill, Savers, they would know what a VHS is because they still sell them there. And the VCRs as well. So, and I still have mine right up there. I don't know if you could, if you could see it. The VCR slash DVD player. But anyway, we all know kids know what a DVD, DVD is. But uh, let me see if I can show you what one looks like. Let's see if they show it real quick before I turn this off. That's what it is. Can you see that? Let's see if I can move in that just a little bit. Yeah. So, that's what a VHS tape looks like, kind of sort if you can see it. And a VCR machine. And they're all different kinds. There's this kind. There's, there's different versions. There's different, different versions of VHS tapes. I mean, VCRs. That's a Betamax.